spot that you saw them coming out of? I never saw them. Okay. I heard them. It's really tough to see anything. I drove around to try and get a better view. He couldn't come by today, but he said he's gonna come tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't get, I like I said, I didn't see anything. We'll have to wait until tomorrow to see if we've got any baby coyotes on our site. Okay, it's tomorrow and the trapper is here. When there's leaves there, that means no activity. It's not being yeah, used. Yeah, it's not being used. So do you think maybe they were trying to build it there and then yeah, got spooked? Yeah, they got spooked. What I do, I put a male raccoon lure around the entry. When she goes in and out, she gets it on her fur and then she starts smelling it. And it's like, oh, there's a male coming. It's not safe anymore. So she grabs the babies and relocates them. Okay, so I got a bunch of this red chain that I'm gonna use to block off the area where we found the dens. All right. Okay, so now I have to put a tag onto the chain in the area that I've blocked off. This is the one I'm gonna use. There's Looks like we're good. Okay, so we are back with Sherwin at the scene of the crime, and we are gonna see if his deterrence worked and if uh, there's been any activity in the den. So that was an interesting few days. We have finally confirmed that the coyote that was spotted in the area did not actually end up using this den. We've confirmed that it's empty. There's no pups in there. She probably was originally trying to build her den there, but ran into a lot of humans. And then maybe if she came back and smelled the deterrence, things like that, she probably just picked a different place to, to start her family, which is for the best. Luckily, that means we are not gonna have to delay any of our work. It's not always easy for animals trying to find shelter in cities because humans really just take over and make them you know not very hospitable areas to be living so luckily animals are resourceful and i know that she found a good spot to start her family thanks for following along this was a day in the life of an environmental specialist hope you enjoyed it